Okay, guys, we are back at the DBDC in Boston, and we are going to continue with what happened in the Pro Latin Final. In the fourth place, and having a great tussle with the fifth place couple, we had Nikita and Nathesda. And once again, if I said that wrong, I totally apologize. This young couple got married last weekend. Yes. Yeah. And what beautiful pictures on Facebook. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah, beautiful. Congratulations, guys. Yes, well done, guys. So they finished four, four, five, four, four. So Colin, what do you feel about their performance? Hmm. This is a couple that I'm very happy to see dance and very angry to see dance. And in, of course I mean that in the, in the best possible way. I think they have so much promise. They, they always uh, stand there and uh, start a dance with, with so much that, oh, this is now, they're going to really turn something in. And then sometimes it just peters out. I don't know if that word peters out in in the States work here, but fades out, kind of fades out. And uh, I have seen them both on occasions re-spark, but it's normally been with, with her first on one occasion or him. And then one round you'll see them both do it and then not see them do it the next next round. So. It, it's wrong to say that they, they, they give you something and you get disappointed when you don't see it. You, you, you get to see other, maybe other uh, aspects of their dance. But this, these changes, I, I, I'm ready to mark them higher, then I'm ready to mark them lower, then I don't know where to put them sometimes. Yeah, and that, that's, not, you know, it's, that's a difficulty. That's a difficulty having to make that decision. I, 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 all couples should want to be uh, seen in, in the light of uh, adjudicators is putting them in the top three and they're jostling rather than the, the lower three. And they sit on the fence. They sit between three and four. That showed at this competition. Klaus, do you agree with it? I totally, totally agree actually. It, it's, it's kind of frustrating to watch them because they've, they've, they have shown you something and then in the next round you don't see it. It, it, it is a bit difficult. Uh, I have to say that for me yesterday, uh, I thought that generally I didn't think that, that the competition really lit on fire so mm -hmm. much. I thought that the, the top three didn't really dance very well. So for me, they were more challenged in the top three than really in a, in a battle with, with, with the fifth place. Wow. That was for me. Uh, I think I marked them quite high in Rumba and and when I look back at us, I think that they were maybe the, when the top three were not really firing, they looked really good. Yeah. There's no doubt that there's some sort of a problem with consistency. And I think also with performance a little bit. I think that they're actually better dancers than performers <laughs> in a way. So somehow they don't bring it over the edge. They don't bring it over the, the uh, you know, <laughs> they don't, they need to dance not behind the curtain, but in front of the curtain. Yeah. So I, I, I really hope that they will find a way to, to get this out because I really think they are much better dancers than, than their results. Guys, this is, you know, this is priceless information, like when the judges are actually telling you. So now it's up to your coaches, put that right. Congratulations for coming forth. And we're now going to move into the top three. We're getting a bit uh, short on inspiration, so we will be back in a couple of minutes with more from the Pro Latin at the DBDC in Boston. <laughs>